R wave is the upward deflection after P wave and part of QRS complex. The R wave represents early ventricular depolarization. R wave peak time is the interval from the beginning of the QRS complex to the peak of R wave, which corresponds the time taken for the depolarization to spread from the endocardium to the epicardium. Normally, R wave peak time should be less than 35 milliseconds in leads V1 and V2, and less than 45 milliseconds in leads V5 and V6. In ventricular hypertrophy and conduction disturbances, R wave peak time is prolonged. Normally, in precordial leads, the amplitude of R wave gradually increases from V1 to V5 or V6, while S wave become less prominent. This phenomenon is called R wave progression. In V1 and V2, S waves have greater amplitude than R waves, and in V5 and V6, R waves have greater amplitude. R wave transition, which is the transition of S greater than R to R greater than S, should be in V3 or V4. Poor R wave progression refers to the absence of the normal increase in size of the R wave in the precordial leads, from V1 to V6. Common R wave abnormalities are poor R wave progression, dominant R wave in V1, and dominant R wave in lead AVR. Poor R wave progression is classically suggestive of anterior myocardial infarction, although it may occur in certain other conditions, such as right or left ventricular hypertrophy, incorrect placement of precordial leads, and is also seen in apparently normal individuals if the rest of the EKG is normal. In myocardial infarction, Necrotic myocardium does not generate electrical potentials, resulting the smaller R wave in the leads reflecting that area. Ventricular hypertrophy also amplifies the R wave amplitude. Left ventricular hypertrophy causes increased R wave amplitude in left precordial leads V4 to V6 and deep S waves in right precordial leads V1 to V3. Similarly, Right ventricular hypertrophy causes larger R waves in right precordial leads and smaller R waves in left precordial leads. In dextrocardia, R wave progression is characteristically absent, and right axis deviation and positive QRS complex in AVR can be observed. Normally R wave is much smaller than S wave in V1 and V2. If R wave is larger than S wave in V1, R wave should be less than 5 mm, otherwise R wave is abnormally large. Dominant or tall R wave in leads V1 or V2 is normally seen in children and young adults. Dominant R wave in V1 can also be seen in right ventricular hypertrophy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, posterior myocardial infarction, muscular dystrophies including myotonic dystrophy and Duchenne dystrophy, right bundle branch block, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome type A, and dextrocardia. In right ventricular hypertrophy and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, dominant R wave in right-sided leads is caused by increased rightward depolarization due to increased ventricular mass in right side of the heart. In this EKG, Dominant R wave with ST segment depression and T wave inversion in right precordial leads with right axis deviation can be observed. These findings are typically seen in right ventricular hypertrophy. In posterior myocardial infarction, decreased muscle mass in left side of the heart decreases the leftward vector. Higher amplitude rightward depolarization can be seen as tall R wave in right precordial leads. In posterior myocardial infarction, tall R wave in V1 to V3 and horizontal ST segment depression mirrors the Q wave and ST segment elevation in posterior leads. Dominant R wave with RSR prime pattern broad QRS complex with M-shaped morphology in V1 air observed in right bundle branch block. In Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome type A, 
rightward depolarization due to electrical conduction through left-sided accessor pathway can be seen as dominant R wave in right precordial leads, with short PR interval, slurred upstroke of QRS complex, seen as delta wave, and broad QRS complex. Since all the depolarizations are going away from lead AVR, all waves are negative in AVR in normal sinus rhythm. The most common cause of a dominant R wave in AVR is incorrect limb lead placement. Tall R wave in AVR is often used to identify a tricyclic antidepressant overdose, and also seen in dextrocardia and ventricular tachycardia. In incorrect limb lead placement, with reversal of the left and right arm electrodes, a similar pattern to dextrocardia in the limb leads can be observed. In left and right arm lead reversal, lead 1 shows completely inverted waves. AVR often become positive with dominant R wave. There may be marked right axis deviation. In contrast to dextrocardia, there is normal R wave progression in the precordial leads. In patient with suspected poisoning of sodium channel blocking agents such as tricyclic antidepressants, EKG is important for diagnosis. Poisoning with sodium channel blocking agents cause a characteristic terminal R wave in AVR. The amplitude of R wave is more than 3 mm and R to S ratio is greater than 0 0.7. Widened QRS complex and sinus tachycardia can be observed due to intraventricular conduction delay and M1 muscarinic receptor blockade. In ventricular tachycardia, broad complex tachycardia with positive QRS complex in AVR and negative in leads 1 in AVF, an extreme axis deviation can be observed. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.